The Great Barrier Reef, it would have to be one of the most diverse fisheries on the planet. You can see it from space and it's actually right here on our doorstep. We don't know how lucky we've got it. We've come out today, we're on the inner reefs uh, wide of the Port Douglas region and uh, we're going to sit up in the bombies today in the shallows, try a variety of barrel lures. We've got our barrel withdrawals as we mentioned earlier. And uh, so we've brought all the barra gear with us, but we're going to try it on the reef species. The trout, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Nice little trout or a cod. We've got a little flowery, I think. Take it on the surface lure. Here we go. Yeah, a little flowery. They're, they do suffer from ciguatera poisoning a lot, the bigger ones especially. So smaller ones like this, as long as they're legal size, they should be fine to eat. But um, yeah, we're just all catching and releasing today in the shallows. We don't have to worry about barra trauma up here, so we'll let this little guy go. Go and grab a, go and grab a 20 kilos. <laughs> Stunning little fish. Darker coloured, this one. He's probably just out of his football colours. These guys are generally a lot yellower when they're this age. Hence the football coral trout uh, tag they've been given. He's a lot darker, that one. Stunning little fish. Yeah, he's just giving it to me. He, he was, it. on the vibe this time. I suppose the uh, big spanglies go, but it doesn't matter. They don't have to be big to go, no, do they? No, they go all right. <laughs> ah, nice little spangly on the gimp vibe, which we usually use for barramundi. Hey, the barrel lure is working again. Unreal. Doesn't matter what sort of barrel lure it is, it catches fish, doesn't it? it certainly does. <laughs> well, anyway, it's a nice looking fish. Yeah, stunning fish. We've just moved out to the uh, outer reef a little bit further, and we've just pulled up at the first spot, and there's just coral trout everywhere here. There's red bass, there's sharks. There's something big on the surface here. That could be uh, big milkies cruising at us. Look at them there on the surface. Yeah, they're milkies, I think. Should have brought the fly rod, anyway. We will do that another day, but this place has just come alive, so hopefully they'll uh, get onto our lure. Oh. <laughs> hopefully they'll show some interest in our lures shortly. Uh, the weather's just an absolute glass off. It's just crazy ridiculous. And sometimes when it's like this, when you fish the deep water, especially after the moon, the fishing goes quiet. We spoke to a dozen people yesterday, no one got a thing. That's why we're playing around the shallow flats today. To see if we can get a bit of interest out of different fish. We've just come across a nice little manta ray up on the reef edge here. Of course, Karen can't help herself being a marine biologist. She loves all these critters, so do I. And uh, I think this is the second time she's ever swum with one. Obviously enjoying herself. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. The Great Barrier Reef is just an amazing place. We love it every time oh, we go, yeah. isn't it? Totally. I mean, I've been going out there for 35 odd years or more. We've got to look after it one way or the other, and the fish stocks, most importantly. Just take what you need. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video and you want to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook or Insta, and if you want some special tips that are only sent out by email only, head on over to our website www.rhymedyfishing.com and sign up for free training and email updates. Get into the great outdoors, keep fishing smarter, and we'll see you next time.